as we've been seeing play like because you know in Palatine it's a whole different beast oh missed pk thunder and nice really good from mariwa takes a quick easy percent of the down smash yeah it even looked like lumbri had the read on mariwa's too like knowing mm -hmm. that you were going to teleport center stage just missing the angle on the pk thunder Oh, Miss Grab. The one thing that I do like that Umbre is doing is like, if I'm moving around Palatina, there's gotta be an aerial that I have to put up for a reason. So he's making sure, you know, he's not overextending with his aerials, he's not over pressing buttons. Yeah, he's also like tending to drift away when it comes to throwing out these aerials and trying to pressure mm -hmm. uh, Mariguas. Because he knows that Nair out of Shield is a really strong option that, that Palutena has. Yes, yeah. it's been nerfed, but it's still really strong and a good tool to have. Yeah, I mean, even though Palutena received nerfs, you know, there's still talks that she is a top 5 character indefinitely. Okay, not enough there. Gloomberg with great DI. Of course, Town and City having a higher ceiling helps out. Ooh, really good side magnet. Oh, double side magnet. It's getting a little bit of absorption. It looked like it was only about 2% uh, explosive flame, though, so... Really, right? from I thought pressure it... for the amount of healing, that's... I'd take that trade. Yeah, 2% is better than nothing and losing the stock, but hey, I thought it was going to be more. But nonetheless, Mariwa was for the stock here. Okay, more up airs. Even getting that extension from the platform, making sure that those up airs are a little bit higher than normal. But hey, reach your, put your hands in the sky. We see another up tilt <laughs> coming from Lumbre. Yeah, missed opportunity with the PK Cleaner, but really good at stuff understanding. Look, you know what? I don't want to overdo it and get punished. I'm at 69% towards the ledge. Gotta watch out here. My bus still on three stocks. Okay, PK flash, and <laughs> that directional air dodge goes so far. Yeah, it does. And the fact that Lumbre knows like when to like execute it and still be able to recover is amazing, too, all on its own. But another up smash at the ledge is going to take the stock. Yo, yo. Hanging off the ledge is already hard to deal with, but when he starts swinging it more often, it just becomes so much more difficult. Ooh. Getting hit with the tail end of PK Thunder, too. 57%. I mean, that's not a lot, but hey, man, we're really looking to find one inch closer to victory, possibly. Yeah, Percent there's that falling PK Flash. Or, uh, not PK Flash. Explosive Flame. Mm -hmm. Really good use of PK Thunder there at the ledge. Trying to get Lu Mariguas to hold the shield enough for him to come back on the stage. Nice. He doesn't go for like a pummel grab, he just wants to kill off in there, and that back air puts Lumbre up 2-1 against Mariguas. If he can find yeah. a lead here, it's gonna be good. But closing, closing that gap, down throw <laughs> into back air, you always gotta down, you gotta DI that out. Always have to DI it out. Like the nerf makes it so that you can just DI out and be okay. Mm -hmm. Which is good. It's a good, it's a good quality of life change. That was yeah, good. That was good. Okay, Thunder again. You gotta watch where you're teleporting. I mean, those platforms are there too, so you really make use of those as well. Yeah. But it's always so tempted to just come back on the stage, especially when you see Ness go for PK Thunder, because you can punish him, but Lumbre is just any Ness. Yeah, that's that's more likely a bait than anything else. Mm -hmm. You're gonna say forward throw, back throw, not enough to take the. A, a, it's strong, but not oh. that strong. Very unfortunate for Mariguas. Gonna SD on the last stock. It's not that strong. Up What's not that strong is, you know, Palatina's magnet hands, and unfortunately, Marigos is not even able to come back to the ledge. Moonbird takes it 1 0 so far here in grand final. So, looking on the band stages, they do have Smash Final Destiny Battlefield PS2. Did you see what the bands were? No, it looks like they're choosing right now. Oh, okay. Pokemon Stadium 2 is the stage choice. No character changes, yep. Pokemon Stadium 2 is going to be the next thing that these two will play on. Fantastic. Uh, similar to previous match, uh, it's going to be a very wide stage. The, mm -hmm. the corner carries for Palutena are going to be attack on a little bit of extra damage but now Lumber is going to have access to that center stage with the platform being just right outside the center so yeah he fires he can really just like 
hail down PK fires at, at the center if uh, Mariguas is is really like staying grounded. Yeah, and that's like the other thing too. So like Mariguas, I'm sorry that like you mentioned earlier in the stream, right? Like that's Lumbre is really really accustomed to doing. So being on the stage is a really good comfort pick for Lumbre, and still enough neutral for Mariguas. So we'll see how things go. Oh no! What happened? No contest. What happened? Oh, okay, I think someone just LRA start. No, you. Oh it. no! We lost. We lost Mariguas. <laughs> no, <laughs> not like this. Not like this. We lost Mariguas. Ah, what is? What is the rule on this? Got to have a message the TOs. <laughs> he disconnected. And if I'm not mistaken, I think if you disconnect, that sometimes gives you a soft ban on online. No, he's good. He's okay, good. He's, he's, good. Back. he's, back. he's coming back. back. Alright. Trials and tribulations of Wi-Fi. <laughs> hey, I almost got snapped. Yeah, shout out to Lord Bahamut, man. He got snapped. Oh, okay, so Arm is saying that Wi Fi just dropped for across the board. Okay. okay. Well, that's good. It wasn't Mighty Guaz. <laughs> Alright, but game two. Yeah, Pokemon Stadium 2 with. Uh, Lumbre being up 1-0. And there's that PK fire fi fighting back from the ledge. Ooh. Can't, I mean, there's that bait again. You can't let him bait you like that. Lumbre's gonna mm. do that day and day. He's been doing it all stream long, dude. He is not afraid to go for those tricks. Okay, back air on shield, just with great drift. Lumbre was still able to apply pressure and drift past Mariguas. But look at this, Lumbre continues to land on those platforms and he's checking to see where Mariguas is positioned um, on the stage so he can really utilize these PK fires. Yeah, and he's always cautious like when he tries to go for a follow-up because if he tries to overextend, like, it may cost him, especially at this high percent. Really good use of coming out with the forward air. Yeah, forward air from the ledge, and now Marigo is putting pressure with the back air, but it's going to get punished. I feel like Marigo is still slowly like, being cautious around PK Thunder because the way he was kind of moving it away with back air from Moonbray. And I think maybe that caution is making him a little bit more predictable. Mm -hmm. So ladies and gentlemen, it's like what, what we would like to call conditioning. Okay, we're dodging past the explosive flame. And now Lumberry back at the ledge. Couple of back airs coming from Maniguas, but uh, not spaced, so it would catch the neutral getup. Looks like Maniguas is trying to cover more of an aerial chore roll option. Okay, double up air. We're gonna see. Oh, there was an there was an air dodge, but Mariguas does not pull a trigger on a third up air. Yeah, he's very cautious. <sighs> oh, he, he hit the, the electric back? flame black or the explosive <laughs> flame black. That was good. There you go, recovering high, putting a little bit more distance between yourself and Lumbre so that PK Thunder doesn't. But still, PK Fire to Nair is gonna close the stock. I mean, you said it yourself, dude. Put in some distance, man. He put some distance into the blast zone. <laughs> the minute the loom break caught him into the PK fire. Mm, look at that PK. Uh, oh, what? no. <laughs> Miss input, I'm sure. That PK um, fire yeah, might have needed to be a PK thunder. Mm -hmm. No. No, no, no. That's a classic. <laughs> the one Classic right special. there. The Wi-Fi special. Double PK fire into S smash. Yo, the Wi-Fi text coming out. 
Oh my god. Okay, well that'll put Lumbre up 2-0, just one game away, one win away from winning our first MSM online. I hate how derpy that icon looks on Ness. <laughs> Makes me even oh more Oh god, mad. it looks horrible. It does. It's the, the Earthbound 1. Um, Is that what the art style Ness. was like? Yeah, that was the art style. Oh, and the red background is not helping. Yep. Making the hat bleed into the background. I don't think he was even called Ness in Earthbound 1. Or Mother 1. I think of a different name. I think it was Ninten. Ninten. Yeah, he was called Ninten. And yeah, Ninten in, in Earthbound. Huh. Yeah. He wasn't called Ness until Earth, Earthbound 2. Or Mother, Mother 2. Or Earthbound, as we call it here in the US. But, anyways, enough of video game lore. Let's get right back into it. I mean, Goombray up 2 0 over Mariquas after the Wi Fi special. Okay, here comes more PK fires. Yeah, good, good, good. Recover low, take the PK Thunder. I Worry like about that. the small percent instead of the big one. The thing about Loombray using PK Thunders underneath the platform is that he has to weave around the, the PK, the, the platforms, in order to connect the PK Thunder. It's gonna mm -hmm. give Maniko has a little bit better idea of if he's in fact uh, Lumbre is trying to connect the PK Thunder. Oh, within the <laughs> F smash. It. I respect it. Really good at smash though. He knows to reach on the platform. If Mariguas is keen to let go, she'll be able to lose the stock. And I. Mariguas was able to land that up air. And that first up air, he dragged down a little bit just to make sure that he was able to follow up. And he was able to connect that second up air. But, oh, the forward air getting caught by the PK fire. And we're going to see a back throw, but not enough. Not on Battlefield. Nope, not on Battlefield. Back throw from Mariguas to put Umbre off the stage. Falling there and a back air. Woo! Not that was enough. almost clean. Another clean stock. <sighs> good, okay, good, that, good. Was, that was sick. He should have been doing that long time ago. Count. And Mariqua is looking really strong here in game three. Just look at his movement and the way he's baiting out Lumbre to, to throw out these attacks and then punishing with the back air. But yeah. Lumbre able to clean up that first stock. I mean, with 64 players, man, you give them enough time and they're going to adapt on you like you've never been on. Yeah, there's the high recovery from Mariguas. Mm -hmm. uh, Lumbre was expecting a lower uh, recovery to the ledge at that point. <sighs> nice. He tried to set up for a combo play. Really good play, too. But the explosive flame is going to connect into an up air, and Mariguas is on the board. Yep. 2 1 now. Mariguas finally has a little bit of breathe here. It's got a counter pick advantage. Typically, that's that stage is what uh, one of the stages that Lumbre prefers to go to. So, for him to lose that hard on one of his preferred stages, that's it's quite interesting. Yeah, it is quite interesting. I mean, we'll see what Lumbre can adjust. I think the one thing that we saw from Mariguas, he was very PK Thunder this time around, and like you said, right, this was Lumbre's stage pick, but now Mariguas has made some adaptation. So things of the game has inevitably changed for Bray and Mariguas. Mariguas was a little bit more understanding in Lumbre with conditioning to Mariguas. So, see how game four goes. Yeah, right now we're just getting stage selects. Looks like Town City and Final Destination have been banned. I mean, honestly, I see them going back to Pokemon Stadium too. With how how dominant uh, Lumbre was doing on that stage, but we also have 
to take into account that um, Marigua has, in fact, adjusted to the way that he is recovering so that mm-hmm. the PK Thunder launch isn't, um, it's not, it's not being a threat anymore. Yeah. And that's the one thing he's gotten used to, but we'll see here, Lumbre. How stage shows, like you said, it might be PS2. I don't see Lumbre going any other characters. All right, here we go. Game four of Grand Finals. First set, Lumbre versus Mariguas, Pokemon Stadium 2. Yep. Now, previously we saw Lumbre do very good here, uh, especially with the way that he was able to trap Mariguas and really utilize the platforms to his advantage. Yes. And look at that. We, the, just the, the far recovery, making sure that the that tool is, in fact, nullified. Yep. Like I said, right, the game has changed for both of them. A little bit of adaptation from Mariguas and conditioning from Lumbre has brought this to the state that we see right now. Nice, good near the shield, enough forces Mariguas to try to get it away into a forward air. Ooh, the clank. Yeah, Dex attack going to whiff, but no punish from Lumbre. And now here's the, here's the ledge pressure. And we've seen Mariguas mm-hmm. do very well, uh, especially in the last game. Forward air. Sorry, forward throw. That was good. He knows. No more on stage. Platforms. Avoid everything. Yep. Don't don't try and punish it. Just get back to stage safely. You can punish him after. Yeah. And the last time we saw him, you know, he went for a far, far one, so... The oh, explosive no. flames are going to connect. Are we chasing with more explosive flames? Oh, there's a down tilt! Not enough yet. 125 each apiece here, but Lumbre barely gets grazed by it. Yeah, launches Lumbre right back on stage, which is where Mariguas wants him to be. That was good as soon as he saw that he had crossed them with dash attack. He me- back in. Because he knows what it means to put on an aerial up against Palutena. Great DI from Lumbre. Using that upper to move the her box. Yeah, PK Thunder and a back air is gonna connect, but not to not enough to take the stock from this far away on from across stage. Okay, dash attack. Back air into dash attack. Woo. Nice. Once again from Mariguas, really good opportunity. Even if he didn't recover on a platform, he knows recover far away, and he was on a platform and far away for him to punish him. Yeah, I think at this point, like Lumber isn't doing it just to like apply pressure or even be a threat he's doing it just so he can be in a position to keep boxing Mariqua after they both recover or they come out of their leg mm-hmm. he's facing out a couple forwarders Mariqua is looking to convert maybe get a poke but it was Lumbre who was able to get the poke oh that was going to say there's an aerial coming up from Lumbre Especially with Mighty Glass is at 59% to 124 here. This is Lumbre's lead. Forward air. Yeah, pushing Mighty Glass on stage and chasing. He went off stage and secured that kill. Made sure that Mighty was uh, definitely not expecting for, for Lumbre to run off stage with the forward air. Yeah, and he I knows. don't that at all. Mm-hmm, exactly. It's the one thing that's I'm saying. It's so good. Lumbre finally just, you know what? I have a moment. And I have to stop you before you go for a low recovery because you're so used to my smash attacks. Yeah, PK Thunder applying a little bit of pressure on Mariguas so that uh, oh. less traps aren't there anymore. But here we go. Oh, okay. Angling it down. And does, in fact, get punished. Uh, but only by a fair, small punish, considering what uh, the risk reward that Limbray put out. Back throw? No. Great DI. Yeah, yep, Explosive Flame's going to put Limbray high in the sky. Back here. Not enough to take the stock again, but... I mean, that's got to be a message to Marigua. You are that close to the stock. Back throw uh, close to the stage will do it. Mm-hmm. One back air, one up air, one nair. Anything. Forward air. Yeah, yeah. Forward air, anything for Lumbre. Dealer's choice for, for sure. You can see Lumbre is, you know, he's throwing the hands. He's trying to get his hands onto Marigua. But falling nair is going to close out the stock. Not only is going to close the stock, but it's going to get rid of that rage. But I don't think rage is necessary at this point. The parry. Oh, no back air. Okay, this is now slowly, slowly becoming Zumbra's game to lose now here. 
Yeah, we're good air dodge. Was that an up tilt? What? Yes, that was an up tilt. What, that was, what was that? Tilt. That was an up tilt. <laughs> <laughs> that was an up tilt. That was an up tilt. Yeah, using Lumbre's secret weapon, the up tilt, to close out another set. He's done it to everybody on 